good morning today we are, i am going to discuss about the basal ganglia anatomy i am not going to the details of the anatomy i will just identification in the mri pictures basal ganglia applied to collection of masses of gray matter situated within each cerebral hemisphere they are paired location and low paired one in left one in right located between thalamus and white matter it consists of five pairs of nuclei caudate nucleus putamen globus pallidus substantia nigra and subthalamic nucleus in introduction part if you see the basal ganglia group of gray matter nuclei deep aspects of the brain that interconnected with the cerebral cortex thalamus and brain stem in the strict anatomical sense it contains three pairs of nuclei together caudate nucleus lentiform nucleus caudate nucleus lentiform nucleus and um, uh, lentiform nucleus is two parts putamen and globus pallidus functionally two additional nuclei also part of the form of the basal ganglia that is subthalamic nucleus is substantia nigra the basal ganglia is associated with variety of functions including voluntary movements procedural learning habit lo- conditional mo- learning eye movements cognition and emotion so if you see this is the caudate nucleus this is the lentiform nucleus continuous the this is the caudate nucleus and lent- globus pallidus and putamen that is continuous the lenticular lentiform nucleus so you see this is the caudate nucleus here caudate head body and tail putamen and globus pallidus together known as thalamus lentiform nucleus and this is the thalamus so if you see in the cross sectional anatomy you can see here this is the lateral ventricle this is the third ventricle the lateral ventricle and third ventricle this is the caudate uh, head of the caudate nucleus and this is the internal capsule this internal capsule anterior limb genum posterior limb anterior limb genum posterior limb this is the caudate nucleus this is the thalamus this is the tail of the caudate nucleus you can appreciate here this putamen global pallidus together form the nu- in uh, uh, lentiform nucleus this is the putamen this is the globus pallidus lateral to the globus pallidus is that of the putamen you can um, see the external capsule and lateral to the external capsule is the claustrum and uh, this is the insula insular cortex otherwise known as the fifth lobe of the brain so again i am uh, uh, re- repeating head of the caudate nucleus thalamus this is the anterior limb of internal capsule genu posterior limb putamen globus pallidus two together form the lentiform nucleus lateral to the putamen you can see here uh, external capsule this is a cl- um, this is a claustrum and lateral to the claustrum this is the um, um, uh, insula that is known as the fifth lobe of the brain so basal ganglia normally isodense and iso, iso intense on the cortex because of the globus which more myelin content within the putamen it is usually it is slightly more hypointense on t2 age related calcium deposition in the globus pallidus result in increased t1 signal intensity when calcification exceeds 40 per signal loss in all sequences aging with the consequent iron deposition in the putamen result in gradual decrease in t1 t2 and c in the signal intensity in the putamen this is more pronounced in 8th and 9th decade of life so again you can see here caudate nucleus internal capsule globus uh, putamen globus pallidus here together form the lentiform nucleus external cl- capsule claustrum and this is the um, uh, insular cortex so you can see, um, appreciate here thalamus here and this is the um, lateral ventricle and um, uh, internal capsule anterior limb genu and posterior limb so again you can see in the mri here this is the lateral ventricle that is anterior horn or frontal horn then it is a third ventricle and you can see here this is the hypointense area is caudate nucleus and another area nucleus is the thalamus 
and this is called internal capsule anterior limb genum posterior limb there are two structures here putamen and uh, globus pallidus here this constitutes the lentiform nucleus this is the external capsule lateral to the putamen and lateral to the external capsule the clostrum and this is the insular cortex that is the fifth lobe of the brain so you can see here this is the genu of the corpus callosum lateral ventricle caudate ne nucleus head thalamus globus pallidus and pallidum globe putamen together from the lentiform nucleus and this is the insular cortex again uh, you can see here red is the insular cortex is the clostrum external capsule and these are the part of the vessel ganglia that is the putamen so this is what i told about the vessel ganglia anatomy and mri any gross i have not i have not gone the details hope you understand thank you very much